Hello, Gene Freak here, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, get PS1 games um, to work on modern TVs which only have the HDMI um, output, and also um, also how to capture PS1 games on PAL TV regardless of the region. So um, Europeans have the uh, um, have the problems with with um, NTSC definitely uh, when you're trying to uh, use your game capture. So um, let's see. But let's start with with just the uh, how to how to get your um, how to play your uh, PS1 games just with with um, um, HDMI for TVs which only have HDMI. So um, I will be using Azure Dreams, one of my favorite games. Um, as an example, I have a PAL copy and I have a Japanese NTSC copy here, uh, but for, at first let's just see how the PAL games work. So, uh, and and I'll be using my um, modec PS2, you can also use PS1, of course, as well. So, um, so there are a couple of converters here, um, which you can use. So, this one is AV to HDMI, so you just plug in, so AV, RCA, you just plug in the red, white, yellow there, and you get the uh, HDMI output. So, so that may work just like that. We can check in a minute. And uh, here, here is a uh, SCART uh, to HDMI. And um, yeah, so same thing, but you uh, plug the SCART uh, connector here. And uh, if you're buying these, uh, remember that these things always need external power. So there will be um, different sorts of uh, just just your normal USB or or even some uh, DC five um, what do you call this? But anyway, you need external power. So uh, on eBay they sell cables which uh, only have like um, this RCA port, for example, and the HDMI port port on the other side. Those are complete scam. Like th th there's no way around that. Those are complete scam. So it always needs to 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 uh, transfer, to change a digital to analog or other way around. It's it's gonna need um, external power. Uh, also, we will be moving on to game capture shortly, but uh, I'll be using uh, Elgato HD. But uh, at first, let's just see how the uh, how the AV to uh, HDMI converter works, and after that, we'll go to uh, how to do the game capture region free. Um, so you just connect your RCA cable to AV uh, to HDMI, and you can also get the power from um, PS2 has these um, um, USB ports, so you can get the power from the system itself. That's pretty pretty handy. Um, but if you have like PS1, um, you can also use um, just just take the electricity from the wall or or use your TV's. Um, USB port if you have one, but yeah, you just plug the uh, RCA to the converter and then um, the HDMI to TV and Yep It's looking okay. Well, the uh, <laughs> Quality of my uh, recording is not too great, but yeah, it it, 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 it looks very good um, So let's let let's see next what happens when we put in an, an um, NTSC game and This happens so the TV doesn't know what to do. So PAL TVs have this uh, problem with, with um, because PS1 games, first of all, were not designed to be used with HDMI. Um, so I think that has to do with even with the converter, um, the uh, TV has has a problem of understanding what the NTSC is. So so this is sort of problematic. But let's see for a solution for this. So the PAL game was fine. It worked without any problems, so yeah, that just leaves us with the NTSC. Um, so the thing, the magic trick you need to do um, with with um, especially if you're using the game capture card, is to uh, use the uh, Europe only, um, or at least originally Europe only RBG card cable. So you have the same. Um, same output connector as a normal RCA, but you have this uh, SCART end and also this uh, side uh, side RCA here. And uh, miraculously, you're going to need all of that to get the game capture to work. Also, um, you're going to need 
um, the uh, RCA cable with uh, RCA on both ends and you're also going to need um, on your Elgato HD or maybe some other capture cards have this as well you're going to need this um, this cable to connect the RCA to. So here are all the pieces of the puzzle and it looks pretty complicated and that's because it is. Um, so um, to go step by step um, here is your RBG card cable and um, this one this end goes to your TV and um, this is the RCA side and you use this RCA side to connect to to your uh, game capture card with your RCA and you also need to have the HDMI output to your TV. Now the strangest thing is that you're actually viewing the game on your TV with, with this cable or, or with this source and this um, HDMI only goes to, to the TV to uh, sort of cheat the system if I remember correctly if you don't um, actually put the HDMI in um, it, it says something that that the connections are not good or something like that so you actually need to connect this HDMI even though you don't see anything or at least if you see something it's going to be distorted um, image but this should work fine um, so now I will set everything up and let's see how it shows on the TV and on my uh, OBS Right, so we connected everything as seen in the uh, previous clip, and, uh, and there we go. Um, unfortunately, the uh, <laughs> the quality is not that great um, with my phone, but yeah, it shows normally on your TV when you use the SCART as your source. And um, since you're using the RCA port for your game capture, that's what you need to uh, set. Um, on your computer, but let's check the OBS. So everything seems seems fine. The aspect ratio may be a bit. I needed to um, actually fiddle with the aspect ratio a little bit. Um, I'm not still sure if it's um, completely okay, but uh, it, it, it's still definitely good. And you can see that audio is coming in, so everything is working perfectly. Um, why this works, um, it's it's tough to say, <laughs> honestly. Uh, the way I realized that you could do this was because I read somewhere that the R RGB SCART cable is somehow, somehow region free. So that's where I started to actually crack the puzzle. Um, but uh, the strangest thing is that the SCART to HDMI, uh, as you saw the uh, adapter in the very beginning of the video, um, the SCART to HDMI adapter does not work, but it works when you use the side RCA. So I'm not a tech guy, don't, <laughs> don't ask me how it works, but I'm so glad it does. So uh, this way you can, you can play uh, USA and, and, and Japanese um, um, PS1 games on PAL TV. Um, uh, just be aware that um, there are differences in TVs, there are differences in in uh, capture cards. So this solution worked for me and um, uh, and uh, it may not work for you, but um, at least give it a try. The most ironic thing is that if you have the Elgato HD, all you need to get is the RCA um, RCA cable and the RGB card. And at the end of the day, you, you're not going to need um, any of the uh, adapters. So so that's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> but um, yep. So, uh, if there are in, any questions you need to ask, please leave a comment and uh, thanks for watching the video and see you around.